Oh, Shazzy, so here's a story that I didn't see. I literally just happened to run across this, but Daily Mail, of course, had it. A transgender Colorado woman, 19, was arrested over a plot to shoot up three schools and churches by cops who found details, plans, and manifesto four days after that Nashville place massacre. William Whitworth, who was 19, who goes by Lily. So they got the, the manifesto detailed the plan to attack the three schools and churches four days after Audrey Hale murdered the people in Nashville. It referred to go with female pronouns like anybody cares, was arrested on March 31st. She was a student in the school district and she planned to attack between 2014 and 2016. Oh, good Lord, that was an awful long time ago. And they just now arrested her? The manifesto was recovered from her home she called Columbine killers Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold losers, said that Sandy Hook shooter Adam Lanza was smart and that ex-president Donald Trump was a con man. She was also in possession of the Communist Manifesto. The suspect is charged with two counts of criminal attempt to commit murder in the first degree, criminal mischief, menacing, and interference with staff, faculty, and students of ed educational in institutions. So her sister is the one that reported the suspect for exhibiting violent behavior and making threats. Someone at the home told officers she was very upset and had punched holes in the wall. <laughs> Maybe that'd be because it's a man. She is in the process of transitioning from male to female. All of the schools targeted by Whit Whitworth <clears throat> have an armed school re resource officer on campus who is a member of the Colorado Springs Police Department. When they went to her house, she was drunk sitting on her bed, which had brown stained sheets. When asked if she planned to shoot up the school, she responded with a head nod, and it claimed. When she, when asked why she wanted to do it, why does anyone do it? Once entering the home, there was a trash piled up all around the house to where it made it hard to walk inside. There were numerous containers filled with half-eaten food and mold growing inside. Numerous alcoholic beverage containers laying around the house. No specific reason that she wanted to shoot up Timberland Middle School a school where she once was a student. She is said to have ref referred to Tim Timberview as her main target. She spent nine months in the school district that she was targeting. She had a four-page rambling manifesto and a floor plan that was written on a dry erase board and a notebook with a list of names was also found. She'd been planning her attack for two months. Why did it say 2014 to 2016 then? Because this just happened. They recovered were details of how to create and detonate a bomb as well as a list of guns and how to 3D print them. They didn't recover any guns, but did find firearm cleaning supplies. They asked if she was schizophrenic. Whitworth reportedly said, I hope not. There's a page in my manifesto and there's a bunch of mass killers, Whitworth said, when asked how much she knew about other shootings. In that section, the suspect said that the Columbine shooters were losers and that the Sandy Hook shooter, Adam Lanza, was smart. She also called far-right YouTuber Lauren Southern Pathetic and left-wing blogger Vouch 
B A U S H, whatever that is, a terrorist. She called serial killer Israel Keys a degenerate and made disparaging remarks about police. The home where she was arrested is a five bedroom house that sprawls nearly 4,000 feet. Whitworth is being held at $75,000 bond and will make her first appearance on May 5th. So three days after Audrey Hale did what she did is when they found this one. I guess the end of that. So I guess we'll know more on this one in May 5th. See, I think it's pathetic that these news places will specifically not go over stuff like this because unless I'm just dumb and missed it, but I thought I remember seeing a, something about another person, like a copycat thing, but that's all I remember hearing. I didn't actually see the details of it. And this one's a trans person too. You know, don't you guys think it's a little strange that you, you keep saying all this stuff about how you have to be this way, this and that, but all of you are always considering taking your own life and stuff. Maybe that's because it's not what you're supposed to be thinking. You're, in your head, you specifically think you need to be this, this person, but if you all are having the same thoughts, maybe that's because you're thinking the wrong way. Maybe you're not actually what you're saying you are. Maybe you're just having a hard time actually coming to grips with the fact of your biological sex because you think that you're something else and you want to be something else, but nobody's going to accept you that way. So you want to make it everybody else's fault. Just accept it and stop being stupid about it. I mean, obviously there's a lot more of you that are starting to look at violence here, which as we've seen from LGBTQ, that's what you guys always do. The moment someone talks back to you or says something that you don't like, you resort to violence. Normally because you're men, but still. We'll, we'll leave that out of the picture for now, since you guys seem to not want to admit that. I'm sure there'll be plenty more. And no, that's not me going against trans people. There's plenty of white people who do the same thing. But there's usually things that lead up to it. Actually, there's always things that lead up to it. It doesn't always mean it's because somebody else is doing something to you. Some, most of the time, it's, it's yourself. You just don't want to accept the reality of things, and you decide to push all the blame on other people. I think you trans people really need to, to get your heads together and start realizing that if that there's so many of you, which, again, is a lie as well, because there's not as many as you think. But you like to say that there's so many of you that keep taking their lives. Well, then maybe something's wrong with you. Maybe your, your, your thought issue here of how to go about what you're doing is wrong. You know, if there's 75 people in the same household dying of coke, yeah, well, the problem isn't something other than coke. It's probably coke. So you guys need to really re-evaluate re your situation. Not that you will, but it's easier just to blame everybody else and then not have any any problems whatsoever on your part. So you can just be mad, yell, blame, be a victim, do stuff like these idiots do, and then you usually get put in the ground. So reevaluate your thought process, and maybe you'll stop being the way you are.